Hello, John. Welcome to our Spotlight series. Oh, thank you for having me. Can you give our audience a brief overview of your tech? So we're actually doing something that's uh, pretty different in the electrification space. We came up with a technology that allows you to swap batteries in an electric vehicle in five minutes. Uh, so think about it as a gas station for electric cars. You drive in, you spend five minutes, we replace the empty batteries with fully charged batteries and you drive off. So when we, we started this, we believe that the, the biggest challenge to electrification is finding a convenient way to get energy into the vehicles. And so what we decided is what works really well with gas is you stop and you spend a few minutes physically moving the gas into the car. And we decided to do the same thing for electric vehicles. And can you share a case study where your tech has made an impact on EV adoption or usage? So I'll give you two, two quick examples. One is for uh, when you think about ride sharing and we have a partnership with Uber. If you are a driver who drives a ride sharing vehicle, if you switch to electrification, there's a high probability that you don't have a home with a garage where you can go and charge a car overnight. So what happens is you spend a significant amount of time, you could be spending 10 to 12 hours a week at a charge or charging your vehicle. When you do that, that significantly decreases the amount of money you can make and you end up spending a lot more time doing it. By allowing people to go through and battery swap, what happens is they can use their vehicle for work whenever they need a charge, very similar to gas, they stop for a few minutes, get a charge and go through. This gives them two big benefits. One is from the amount of time they spend working, it's identical to gas. But when you look at it from a, a revenue perspective, you actually can make more money with electric vehicles from two perspectives. One is they actually pay a lot less for gas uh, by using electricity. Uh, and the second is Uber and uh, provides a lot of incentives for people to go through and, and drive electric vehicles. So in the end, they don't change the amount of time they work they, and they end up taking home uh, a larger paycheck. The one other example I'll quickly give you is uh, in last mile delivery. Uh, we all see the trucks that come and deliver the goods. When you try and move those trucks over to uh, electric, what ends up happening is you end up having these very large batteries in them. They could weigh you know, 500 kgs or 1,000 pounds. Uh, and these trucks are there to deliver packages, not carry batteries around. So with our technology, they're able to choose how much battery they put in the vehicle. And that way, they can optimize uh, the, the truck to carry the packages and carry a lot less battery. It makes the car more efficient. It also, with our technology, it's easy to use renewable energy. When they go back to the depot, we quickly swap batteries, but those batteries, we can charge them with renewable energy. It's hard to do that with charging uh, because of the power requirements. So the combination of allowing them to swap every time they get back to the depot very quickly, uh, carry a lot more package at the back, uh, and then use renewable energy makes a lot of uh, advantages for them. And did you get any feedback from your partners or the consumers, the, the users, the EV users? I shall give you a good example. We, we are uh, live right now in Kyoto, Japan, uh, with uh, the largest taxi company out there called MK Taxi. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were there and I was speaking to a driver who came in for a swap. And the way it works for the drivers is they make a percentage of the revenue they bring in. So as soon as they started doing electric, all the drivers preferred electric to, to gas because they were paying a lot less for the energy. But then when they introduced swapping, the drivers all preferred swapping to electric because they're spending a lot less time uh, waiting for the charge. So I think it was a very good use case. You know, the driver said, my first preference is if I can get it, I'll take a swappable vehicle. I, you know, I make more money and I spend less time doing it. And what upcoming developments and innovations Thanks. are you most excited about within Ample, of course? You know, the right now for us is, is going through, we're doing two we're expanding in terms of geographies. We'll be going into new areas. Europe is something that I think there's a big push towards it. We're currently going to be deploying in Madrid. We're looking at other places out there. So I think geographic expansion is going to be very important. The second is just going to be the range of vehicles. We have a certain range of vehicles right now. Um, it's easy It's easy for us to work with OEMs to, uh, to, adapt, to adapt to new vehicles. We don't require them to change anything. So I'm excited about getting a larger range of vehicles. Uh, we have some interesting ones like the Fiat 500e. We have delivery vehicles. But you'll see a much larger range and more geographies that we go through and cover. My last question for you is where can people explore your company and find out more about you, what you're doing? We're at ample.com, so there's a lot out there. But the three geographies that we're in right now, if you're in the Bay Area, we have uh, 12 stations deployed there. If you're in Madrid, uh, we, we have stations deployed and we're currently in Kyoto. We choose our places with the wonderful cities to be in. So we like all those cities. <laughs>
<laughs> so you you'll hopefully see us in a lot more uh, one old cities but uh, the one thing i'll just say is as people think about it is i think a lot of people look at electrification and assume going to an electric car is green it it electric car can often have a larger footprint than a gas car because of the battery so the only way for that to be green is for you to use it on renewable energy and i think that's an important one to remember is uh, you need to combine the two go go green and use renewable energy to have the benefit and so I think it's an important one to keep in. And, and if you're in any of those cities, stop by. But we will be expanding and hopefully coming to, to a city near your, your viewers soon. Well, thank you, John. This has been wonderful. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for watching New Perspective Spotlight series. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our social media channel and follow our podcast on your favorite streaming platform. Thanks.